What's up, Christ Center Mental Health Community? This is David Sarche coming to you real quick to represent Christ Center Mental Health, the YouTube channel where I talk about mental health awareness from a Christian perspective. Um, I'm coming to you right now to um, talk about, get my thoughts about something that, like, oh, it's been on my mind since Sunday. Uh, this is going to be a brief video. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to try and make this video brief because I don't want to take too much time talking about this but um like I do like I, I will say I have a special announcement at the end of this video so please try and stick it through to the very end of the video because uh, I do have a special announcement at the end of the video so and you're gonna want to hear it yeah, all right anyway so we'll get started as you can tell by the title of the video I'm titling it my thoughts on our new pastor of Stonebridge EPC like um, well, I do want to say it's not 100% sure yet that he's going to be our new pastor. Like, we took a vote in our congregational meeting on Sunday, and we all voted unanimously for um, for him to become the pastor, or for us to give him a call to become our pastor. But now all that needs to happen is that he needs to pass the ordination. So... If he passes the ordination, then he'll be our pastor. And I am thankful. Like, it does seem like things are moving in the right direction. I think he will actually become our pastor. And, like, it'll be good because as far as I know, like, this my, the church has gone without a pastor, I think, for, like, seven years. I, think. I haven't gone to the church for seven years. But since I've been there for about, I've been there about three years. And we haven't had a pastor within that three years that I've been there. So... Like, we definitely need a pastor. But, um, so I am thankful that it seems like the Lord is going to be providing us with a pastor now. Um, now, I, I will say, like, okay, I, I, I'm nothing, like, I, I know this video is going to be me expressing my concern about this, about him, but I do want to say that I do like him as a pastor. I've talked to him a couple times. And um, I did, so that I did vote for him to become our pastor because I do like him. I think he's very knowledgeable concerning the scriptures. I think that he's theologically deep. Uh, I think I like the fact that he's a presuppositionalist. He's spiritually mature. He seems to have his household in order, and he's very he's very personable. Like he's easy to talk to. And I like that. And I think those those are good qualities in a, to have in a pastor. Um, my only concern is I remember there was one, like, well, he, he, he came over to our house to, cause he was meeting with people in the congregation and our elder brought him over to my, to, he, our elder brought him over to mine and my wife's apartment and to, so, just so he can meet with us. And I was talking to him and like the conversation was going good, but then he said something that was kind of disconcerting. Like he said, um, he said that he um, was that he was part of the biblical counseling movement. And for those of you that know about biblical counseling, that's pretty much nuthetic counseling. J. J. Adams nuthetic counseling. And those of you that have been following my channel for any amount of time know that I'm no fan of nuthetic counseling. Like, or biblical counseling. Like, I even did a, like, a whole series where I critiqued Jay Adams, um, Jay Adams' book, Competent to Counsel, chapter by chapter. For those of you that haven't seen it, I'll post the first video, I'll post the link to the first video of that series in the description box below so you guys can watch it for yourself. Um, like, it's a pretty good series. I suggest you watch the whole series before you make any judgments about what I said. But, um, yeah, like, and I, w I would like to talk to him more about that, like, because he did say that biblical counseling has come a long way since the time of Jay Adams, and I know that he said that he's, um, for, that he, 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 he supports, like, psychiatric medication, I don't know to what extent he supports psychiatric medication and like I mean and that's important to me because as you know like I 
strongly, um, I'm a big advocate for psychiatric medication. Like I, I think that psychiatric medication is, is a great benefit to those of us who suffer with mental illness. It's the best treatment for those of us who suffer with mental illness. And I think that it's God's way of, it's, uh, psychiatric medication is God's blessing on those of us who suffer with mental illness. And if we take it correctly, we can live a pretty stable, normal life. So that's where I stand on that. So I would like to know where he stands on that too, like exactly where he stands on that. I would like to know like more about his stance on biblical counseling, exactly how it, um, how far it's come from Jay Adams. I would like to know what his stances are on mental illness now. Like, I mean, there's a whole host of things I would like to know. I should have talked to him about it before when I had the chance to. Like, I, I, I briefly had one conversation with him about it. I would like to unpack it some more. So I really do hope that he becomes our pastor so I can talk to him again about this. But yeah, like, and the, re and the reason why I find this um, so, like, such a big concern is because I'm worried about... Um, like, if we get any other members besides myself, if we get other members who suffer with mental illness, like, if he had, depending on his take on biblical counseling or nuthetic counseling, like, he could, his, this view could potentially be harmful towards members, new members that come to our church who suffer with mental illness. And I'm concerned about those people. Like I'm not, I'm not really concerned about myself because I mean I can, I can handle, like, like dependent, I can handle like biblical counseling. Like I, I don't, really, I'm not really concerned about it affecting me. But like, I'm worried about future members who may ha may suffer with mental illness or may have loved ones who suffer with mental illness. Like his views, depending on his views on biblical counseling they could potentially be harmful towards them. And so I would just like to talk to him more about it. But yeah, um, like, like the reason why, I, I do think this is a serious issue. Like I really do. And I was really conflicted about whether or not to vote for him. In the end, the reason why I voted for him was because I didn't think I thought it would be selfish of me to vote no when everybody else was voting yes. And I thought that um, I, I shouldn't make this about myself or about, like, yeah, I shouldn't make this about myself or make this about the mental health community. Like, I was thinking I should think about the benefit of the congregation as a whole. And as a whole, I think that he would benefit the congregation. So that's why I voted yes. Um, I'm going to keep praying for him. Like, I'm going to keep praying for him and his family. And hopefully, like, I'm, I'm going to keep praying that he does become the pastor. I'm going to keep praying that God will sustain him and keep him strong and that God will lead him to our church. Like, I am, ho I am feeling hopeful about him being our pastor. I don't want to give the impression that I'm not hopeful about this. I am hopeful. I'm trying to think positive about this. So that's how I feel about it. Anyway, so um, that's all I had to say. I mean, I, I decided to talk about this because I wanted to get all of your take on, on this issue. Like, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, yeah, and let's have a discussion about this. Like... What do you think about nuthetic counseling or biblical counseling? And like, do you think do you think that I made the right decision? And let's let's have a let's have a discussion. All right. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I have a Facebook group for this channel called Christ Centered Mental Health Discussion Group. It's for um, it's for my subscribers to interact with one another, interact with me, and give me content ideas. So feel free to join that group. 
I have a Facebook, I have a Twitter, Tumblr, and a blog. I will, like I would like you guys to check those out. I'm gonna post links to um, in the description box to all of this, so you guys can check, so you guys can join the group and check out my Tumblr and my Twitter, and check out my blog too. Like I'm go in my blog, it's an apologetics blog. I'm going through Christopher Hitchens' book. God is not great. How religion poisons everything, and I'm critiquing it chapter by chapter. So, like, check that out. Let me know what you guys think about that. All right. Um, like I said, like li the links to all that is going to be in the description box below. Um, now, as for the special announcements, some of you may have seen already, but tomorrow I'm going to be trying something new that I haven't tried before. Like, there's going to be something new, and if I like it, if I like how it goes, and if you guys like how it goes, I'm going to try and do this every week, Lord willing. But it's going to be a live Q&A session about faith and mental illness. Like, it's going to be a time where, like, I want you guys can ask me any question you want concerning faith and mental illness, and I'll try my best to answer your questions to the best of my ability according to what I believe Christianity teaches about that, about the topic. And, um, like, I mean, if you want to ask me questions that don't have to do with faith and mental illness, you can like, go ahead and ask me, you can ask, you can ask me those questions, and depending on, like, depending on the question, I may or may not answer it, honestly. I do want the main focus to be about faith and mental illness, because this is a channel where I talk about um, mental health awareness from a Christian perspective, and I want to stay true to that theme. So please try to keep the questions to that topic. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be I'm gonna, it's gonna be live. So it, uh, you could you could I would like you guys to start sending me questions now, and I'm gonna make a list and answer the questions on the live, live Q&A, but if you want to save your question till the Q&A starts, then that'll be fine too. Um, you could do that as well. The Q&A, by the way, is going to, it's going to, the, vid, the live stream is going to start tomorrow at 4.30 um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah, like, so that's when it's going to be. Um, yeah, so... Like, it should be fun. Like, if I don't get anybody watching or asking questions, then I'm just going to, like, talk about some other stuff. Like, I have an article that I want to share with you guys. But, um, yeah, um, that I would like for some kind of interaction with you guys. It's going to be a time where we can hang out together and, like, just enjoy one another's time. Anyways, um, I will say that um, I'm... I can't, this isn't going to be like a debate. Like, I don't want it to turn into like a debate between me and like other, uh, between me and like a one, one commenter or two commenters. Like, I don't want it to turn into a debate. So, but I will, and I will try to answer your guys' questions to the best of my ability. Anyways, um, that's all I have to say. Please send me your questions either in the comment section below or on Facebook, or if you have my number, you can text me, or you can, I'm going to post this video on Twitter and Tumblr, so if you follow me on Twitter and Tumblr, you can ask me questions there as well, like, yeah, so, like, just send me your questions, alright, thank you very much, have a good day, God bless you, and deuces.